Welcome to Coffee with the Pastor. I'm Tyus, and I'm excited about being with you this day. Today, we are on the last week of our look through the book of Revelation. Now, when I say look through the book of Revelation, I'm talking about a scripture here and a scripture there. For you all who want to dig deeper in the book of Revelation, I think it's a great book to dig deeper into. Just remember one thing. Every single book that you read is important to your faith. No different than Genesis or Revelation. So read the whole book and enjoy the book. Today we're going to wrap this up in Revelation chapter 21. Now, last week my favorite chapter was, as I told you, Revelation chapter 4, A Look Into Heaven. And now this is my second favorite scripture because it's at the end of the story. At the end of the story, I like the way the story ends. And here's the way the story ends. Revelation chapter 21 verse 1 then I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and the seas were no more I also saw the holy city the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God prepared like a bride a bride adorned for her husband and you know why I love this so much because I remember growing up that Everybody talked to me about going to heaven and the streets made of gold and you got your big house there. But here it tells me something different. It tells me that God didn't give up on earth, that even though we have, may have messed it up earlier, but he renovates it and he brings us back to this earth and we get to live on this earth for a long, 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 long time. And it's a new earth and it's a new heaven and man, what an exciting place to be at the end of all life. We get to come back to an earth that's been renovated just for us. Now, we know in Genesis chapter 1, God creates the earth and he gives the earth everything it needs to take care of us. Then at the end of the story, God does it again. He renovates the earth and he makes it ready for you and I. Only thing different, we got this new glorified body. Man, I like I like the glorified body because if I want to zoom out to Jupiter and get back to Earth, I mean that's 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 that Star Trek thinking that I can zoom from New Earth and zoom up to Saturn and zoom up to here and zoom up to there. Uh, I, I know that's far fetched, but that's just my imagination. Well, our prayer for today is simply this: that we would open our heart to what the Word says. We learned a whole lot of things, and I pray that Father that. All the things we learned that never lined up with your word, help us to release those, but help us to live and prepare our future by the truth that we've learned over the course of these last couple of weeks. If faith does come by hearing and hearing by the word of God, then Father, fear also comes by the things we hear. So I pray that we keep our ears open to the truth and we live the truth, and we expect the truth, and we hope for nothing but the truth. Hey, I look forward to being with you next month. I got some special guests coming out next month with me. The month of November is a great month. You know why? Because it's Thanksgiving. It's a season where we are thankful for all the things that the Lord done. So I look forward to being with you next month. But before next month, remember, Share your favorite coffee and share your favorite coffee joint. And remember that transform people really do transform people.